Awaite everyone, this is Regulus Pastor. Welcome back to Higurashi no Nakakoroni. This is uh, Meakashihem, the fifth arc of the eight main arcs and the first answer arc. Now, we kind of got a hint of this last time, but um, I might as well say it. This is the answer arc to. Or this is the answer to the question. Uh, the questions that um, Watanagashi Hem, the second arc, uh, posed. So, Watani, Watanagashi Hem was um, one of the question arcs, so this is the answer arc to that. Um, as we're going to see, even more so, very shortly. Um, <coughs> we left off with uh, Shion feeling confused and like um, lamenting that she started getting attracted to Cage and feeling horrified and guilty that she could start feeling that way about anyone other than Satsuki. So she started apologizing to him and then she started hearing him and so she's been hearing him throughout the day, every day now. Uh, <coughs> whether it's really him, <coughs> we can't say. Um, but anyway, we left off um, at. Or we left off uh, like sort of in the middle of the Watanagashi festival. Um, Shion went with uh, Mio and her friends um, because she thought that Satoshi would not want her to miss out on stuff. So, let's continue. Uh, we stopped in the middle of a chapter last time, so um, we don't have any tips to read yet. Oh yeah, and um, we're back at... Um, Sort of that point in Watanagashihem. Not the same world, not the same timeline, but um, it's starting to overlap now. Uh, where um, Shion found out that Takano san and Tomitake san are planning to sneak into the ritual storehouse, and so she's dragging Keiichi along with her <coughs> to spy on them. Cage thinks, uh, we know this from uh, Watanagashihem, that Cage just thinks that she's taking some place where he can see Rika's dance better. Because Rika's the shrine maiden, so she's doing the ceremonial dance for the festival. Okay. She own voice go. We made it to the ritual storehouse. Cage, she was baffled by the situation. Our timing had been perfect. I could see Tomitake-san picking the lock. Even though Keiichi must have been curious, he insisted that we shouldn't go in. But I talked him into it anyway. He was quick to change his mind when Tomitake-san joined in. Really? Um... That's a difference. Um, in Watanagashihem, Tomitake stayed outside. He was too scared to go in, and he won. He uh, brought up the excuse of keeping watch for everyone else. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it was completely dark inside, so Takano-san lit a battery-powered lantern. A small entry space appeared before us. It's so dark in here. Take care not to trip over anything, everyone. Ah, excuse me. Excuse me. Had a lot of post-nasal trip there. I appreciate the concern. 
じゃあ門番をよろしくね。OK、ドイマン。Keep a good watch。OK、so he is keeping watch。ここ閉めるわよ。We're shutting the door now。高野さん、え、sorry。高野さん、close the door with a smile。as if leaving トミタケさん out on purpose。やれやれ。Man。じゃあみんな、ゆっくり楽しんでおいで。Alright everyone。Have fun. As soon as the heavy door was closed, we were surrounded by a quiet darkness. All we could rely on was Takano-san's lantern. It'll be fine. It's an outdoor lantern with backup batteries inside. It won't go out or anything. Takano-san, tease Keiichi a little. Keiichi, in turn, looked a little pale. He seemed to be able to recognize the sanctity of the building even though he wasn't from Hinamizawa. So, let's go in. Well, let's go in. Here we go. There. After Takano-san opened the heavy inner door, a dusty foul smell flowed out. It was like the smell of a pantry that hadn't been opened in years, and the smell of a fish market mixed together. Now, I didn't know exactly how to describe it, but it was a bad smell. From listening to the echo of our footsteps, I could tell that this room was much bigger than the one we were just in. When Takano-san raised her lantern, I could clearly see how, just how big it was. Hold on. I'm gonna move my controller that was charging so I could put my phone down and see chat. Uh... Oh, hey, LaBoost. Uh... Welcome back. How are you doing tonight? On the far side of the wall, there was a statue of some kind of god staring down at us intruders. <laughs> nice nub emotes. The way it was lit by the lantern gave it a powerful appearance, and it scared me. That's the guardian god of Hinamizawa, Oyashiro-sama. I looked up at the statue which was holding its religious ornaments. If Satoshkin's disappearance really was a curse, I couldn't forgive this god. I found myself irritated by the way the statue looked down at me. Darn you, Oyashiro sama! If you really made Satoshkin disappear, I'll never forgive you. Never. Kate didn't seem to understand the significance of the storehouse. He looked bored. Takano-san noticed that and took out his scrapbooks to show him the brutal history of ancient Hinamizawa. Oh, I ran out of breath there. Ancient Hinamizawa. Oh. I'd heard that story already, so I decided to walk around by myself. Since I knew the significance of all these tools, I felt a little nauseated. Though they certainly wouldn't jump out to me, I still found them intimidating. They looked as if they were craving for fresh blood after not having been used in hundreds of years. All the tools looked similar to the ones I saw in the underground torture room at the Sonazaki main house. If those tools were the progenies of torture implements, these would be their ancestors. All the implements here looked old. I doubted they could really be used. They weren't kept maintained like the ones at the Sonazaki house. So, did that mean they shouldn't scare me? No, on the contrary. They told me that cruel rituals were indeed performed in this village at one point. Now that I found scary. What Takano-san told me was the truth. When I stopped, Satoshi also stopped behind me, one step later. I felt no emotional change in Satoshi. 
I couldn't tell if he was feeling something or not. Oh, no problem. <coughs> um, uh, I normally watch a mobile. Sorry your PC died. Jeez, that's... That's a bad fate. Um, but I, I was on break for like a few weeks doing like Outlast Whistleblower DLC and Amnesia for a little time and, well, doing Spyro on Tuesdays, but Mondays and Thursdays I've picked back up uh, Higurashi with the start of Meakashihem. So, um... I couldn't tell if he was feeling something or not. I knew he was there, but I had no idea how he was feeling. I felt scared of him for the first time. If he could answer me, I'd want to ask him. Who demoned you away? Ne, Satoshi. -kun. Are you listening? Kiteru? Satoshi. -kun? I couldn't tell if he heard me or not. He laughed as if he didn't hear anything. I could tell that he'd been sulky ever since we got here. I suddenly felt lonely, so I looked for him while walking around. I realized then that there was an altar in front of the statue. He might be there. It was a clean altar. An altar ornamented with religious artifacts. It was kept well maintained. I saw no dust. That would mean... well... The flowers in the vase weren't wilting. I saw a pretty handkerchief under the vase. It looked out of place amongst everything else. I was fairly certain it was Huda de Riga's hand handkerchief. Well, that would mean that the storehouse is maintained daily. It wasn't a forgotten ruin buried in dust. So the brutality that dwelt in this ritual storehouse is still alive and well in Hinamizawa. That's right. Something as ambiguous as Oyashiro-sama's curse is nothing more than a simple delusion of the villagers. As Takano-san said, Everything that happens in this world is done by humans. I'd accused Oyashiro-sama of demoning away satoshi -kun. But Oyashiro-sama is just a statue made of bronze or wood. It's nothing but an icon. Yeah, Meakashi hands my favorite arc. There are, however, human beings who would try to make that icon seem real. The series of mysterious deaths in Hinamizawa is the result of human action. It shouldn't be called Oyashiro-sama's curse. If satoshi was the fourth year's victim, then he was victimized by a human being who was just acting the part of the curse. The person who demoned away satoshi must not be very far from me. The truth behind satoshi disappearance was... Not so far from my grasp. I was startled by the sound. It sounded like somebody had dropped something. I looked over at Takano-san cage. Takano-san was still lecturing him. Did she drop her scrapbook or something? Probably horrible excuses for thumps. How about that? The sound came from right behind me, not from them. I never heard Satsuki do that. It sounded like somebody was stomping on the floor in frustration. Wh what is it? The sound continued, ignoring my question. Though I heard it right nearby. It sounded as though a child were hopping on a wooden floor somewhere distant. What's wrong, Satoshi-kun? Are you angry about something? I couldn't read his expressions. I thought he was mad, but I didn't sense any emotion from him at all. Was he mad that I touched the altar? Maybe you weren't supposed to do that. It's not that I've been able to communicate with Satsuki in a concrete way. I just talked 
to him. I was never expecting him to react like that. I didn't sense a willingness to communicate from this creepy sound. Then a chill ran up my spine. I felt as if all my pores were opening. I'd been thinking that it was such a chicken stomping on the floor. Hey. You. You're such a chicken. Aren't you? The sound stopped when I asked that. It wasn't a yes or a no. Just silence. Satoshkin wouldn't scare me like that. I realized suddenly that the sound hadn't come from Satoshkin. A cold shiver shot through my feet. I sprung a step backward. The sound had come from right there. Even though I jumped back, it was still just a few meters away. Satoshkin would sometimes let me hear his footsteps when I walked. But if that wasn't Satoshkin, there was no guarantee I'd hear its footsteps. So, that invisible being could already be right in front of my eyes. And I just wouldn't see it. I forgot everything and ran. Straining my ears as much as possible for any sound. Listening for any footsteps pursuing me. Okay. Um, well, my Wi-Fi could sometimes be crap. So maybe it's on my end. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Um. Yeah. It's only four bars instead of five. But either I... Like, no matter... Like, I have three different options for connection, and they all are... You know, only as good as the other, so... Um... But thanks for letting me know. Um. I ran right into Cage and clung to him, timidly turning back to look. The dimly lit area before the altar was quiet, like nothing was happening. But seeing that chilling dark stillness, realizing I was just in that space, made me even more frightened now. <sighs> What's up, Xion? Did you get scared? Keiichi made fun of me. Even though he looked horrified just a little while ago, he now looked satisfied to see me scared too. <笑><笑><笑><笑> I know girls tend to get freaked, by, freaked out by haunted houses. Well, I don't mind it. ほらほら、行きましょう。Anyway, let's go! Takano-san Before Takano-san leaves us behind. I pretended to be fine, but I wasn't sure if I was able to hide my fear entirely. The footsteps were chasing me. They were outside the illumination of the lanterns if they couldn't go into the light. Their presence never left us, however. It followed us like a fourth member of the party. Sometimes it made a stomping sound as if wanting some recognition. But neither Takano-san nor Keiichi seemed to notice it. It is possible for Takano-san to be ignoring it. But Keiichi would never ignore it. If he could hear it, he would have said something. So, just like with Satoshikun, only I could hear it. What was this thing that was making me so scared? Was it Satoshikun in a bad mood? Or was it possible that the presence I believed to be Satoshikun might not have been him at all. What are you upset about, Satoshikun? She's still not willing to let it go. Alright. <coughs> Tell me if I did something wrong. I'll apologize. Then where did he go? When did he take his place? Xion, Dajoka? Xion, are you alright? 
全然平気ですよ I'm fine それよりケイちゃんこそ顔面蒼白でかなりヤバゲかと You look pale though ならあまり俺の服を引っ張りすぎないでくれると嬉しいんだけどな Then I'd appreciate it if you didn't stretch my clothes too much あこりゃ失礼です、uh, Sorry あらあら、oh. 私はお邪魔かしら Am I interrupting you too? <laughs> I decided to engage in the conversation to help myself ignore the sound from behind. I didn't hear the sound as much, and it became a bit more distant. Yeah, I shouldn't pay attention to it. It wouldn't bother me if I didn't hear it. I should just ignore the noise. De Takano san wa sono f u s h u ga. 実は現代にも残っているんじゃないかと思って研究をしてるんです。そうでしたよね。You are, right? これ、本当に内緒なんだからね。シオンちゃんは理解のある人だから話したけど、他の村人には聞かれたくないの。I told you, Xiong Chan, because you're an understanding person, but the other villagers don't want to hear it. He tells that a bachi a t a r i m o n t e k o t o de f u k u r o d a t a k i n i s a r e k a n e n a i n d a k a r a If things go awry, I could be ganged up on and punished. She smiled at me like a witch. My barakun mo nai s h o n i s t e n e My barakun. You keep it a secret too, okay? She r a t a r a t a s h o y a s h i r o s a m a n o t a t a r i n i a u k a i k e n i e n i s a r e c h a u k a s u r u k a m o s h i r e n a i If this gets out, I could suffer o y a s h i r o s a m a s curse or be made into a sacrifice. t a t a r i n a r a k o t o s h a d o n a s i n i k a t a o s a s e r a r e c h a u n o k a s h i r a If it's the curse, then I wonder what kind of death it'll be this year. いけにえなら、鬼が淵の沼に、生きたまま沈められちゃうのかしら。If it's a sacrifice, then will I be thrown into the Onigafuchi swamp while still alive? そういえば、今夜よね。And it is tonight, you know. おやしろさまのたたりがある夜は。The night of おやしろさま s curse.It certainly is. If the curse strikes for a fifth time, it'll happen tonight. <coughs> Takano san pulled out an old scrapbook from her paper bag and started turning the pages. She opened it to the page with that one article. It was the article about the brutal murder of a Watanagashi victim. It happened in the Meiji era. これは実際にあったお話よ。This is a story that actually happened. Meiji no wari goro ni ne. It was around the end of the Meiji era. Oni ga fuchi mura de mimoto fume no zansatsu shitai ga hakken sare tan desu. De. I didn't catch what that said.、Um... They discovered an unknown mangu corpse, the victim of a murder, in Oni ga fuchi village. かくも無残かつ残虐非道を。Never before has there been a corpse treated with such cruelty and inhumanity.Hey, you guys seriously don't hear that?It's freaking loud!How can you not hear it?It's、uh, freaking noisy! Cut it out already! <laughs> and the next moment, we all heard a squeaking noise! We turn around in surprise. It's Henry Townsend Coon. <laughs> It was just Tomitake san opening the door. Did I startle you? 
次郎さんも見たくて我慢できなくなったかしら、oh, 次郎さん、could you not resist seeing inside? Um, you know what, I think I will switch. Um, I might switch connections. Um, hold on. Let me, um, prioritize the webcam window and task manager, because, you know, that's still choppy on my end. Um,. Okay. Um, it's a little better. Uh, not too much. Let me see if uh, changing the FPS a bit will help. Um, configure video. Okay, so it's one OBS is in, so I'll have to prioritize that. Um, um, that's a lot better. Um, okay, here we go. <coughs> oh, Jirosa, could you not resist seeing inside? Koko, steki na gomon dogu no hoko yo. This is a splendid treasure trove of torture devices. Boku a endo sasete morau yo. I'll pass on that. Seirai ne, koyu no a nigate nanda. I'm bad with this sort of thing by nature. I started to yawn, hence the pause.、Uh, I feel it coming. Come on. It's teasing me. Almost. <laughs> Takana-san laughed as if making fun of Tomi Tomitaki-san for being such a scaredy cat. Oh. So, r e a l l y Oh. Keeps the border at last, but here we go. <sighs> Yawns officially commenced at 10 51 p.m. In any case. e n b u t o ceremony is over, and the men are going to the river. The dance and ceremony are over, and everyone's going down to the river. The festival as a whole will be over within minutes. Time was up. I never expected that Tomitake san would save me from this nightmare. His face suddenly looked heroic. Hmm? Oh? Keichi kun, are you leaving too? Well. He really is Henry Townsend Kuhn when you think about it. Same hair,、um, same blandness of personality. Um. Um. <coughs> I swear I had、um, more compelling evidence to add to my argument, but it's completely obliterated now. <laughs> oh, photography. Photography. They have that in common too. Oh? Keiichi kun, are you leaving too? もう十分に見ましたので。I've seen enough. シオン、もういいだろシオン、You're good too, right? 出ようぜ。Let's get out of here. きれいな空気が吸いたいよ。I want some fresh air. 同感です。I agree. 出ましょう。Let's leave. I went into the entry room and turned around. Takano san was taking photos in a mad rush, though her time was up. I didn't hear that sound anymore. I didn't feel that presence. I didn't feel Satoshi kun either. But somehow I wasn't too sad about that. Even if he followed me out here, I wouldn't be able to tell if it was really him or somebody else. These scene transitions take forever. 
日暮らしの泣く頃に、めやかしへん。I imagine we're getting tips now. You have received new tips. Notebook, pages 172, 173, 179.、Um, let's view the tips a while.、Um, <coughs> since I just named them, I don't think I'll do that again.、Um, oh, achievement unlocked. Defilers broken to a forbidden place. That underground torture room is officially called the Underground Ritual Storehouse. So, do torture room and ritual storehouse mean the same thing? According to Takano san's theory, bloody rituals, including Watanagashi, have been passed down among the three families even after the Meiji era. The rituals are always ready to be performed. Their form of worship always revolved around torture. So, Hinomizawa's history involved a great deal of human slaughter. Takano san's theory is correct. The underground storehouse at the Sonozaki house looked well maintained. Takano san is right about that too. Since the Sonozaki family and the Furude family both have ritual storehouses, the Kimiyoshi family must have one too. After all, these ancient and brutal customs are still handed down through the generations. I should remain armed with the knowledge that occult events are still secretly being performed in this cursed village. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> the sanctity of the ritual storehouse is one of the most prominent elements in the worship of Oyashiro sama. Of course, I knew that since I'm originally from Hinomizawa. But violating that sanctity is actually a more serious problem than I thought. Takano san's research shows that the history of the ritual storehouse goes way back. The ritual implements within have long been viewed as inviola- inviolable objects, which is why it was strictly forbidden to enter. Takano san's theory says that Watanagashi was once a public execution, performed to stabilize the reign of the three families, rather than a purely religious ritual. If so, the ritual should hardly be called sacred. Under those circumstances, the implements should have been despised as symbols of hatred and fear. When instruments of fear are too visible, it only creates a reign of terror. But keep them as hidden as possible, and they gain divinity. Many said that they would become tainted if the layman touched them. The only reason for that was to preserve their false prestige through their secrecy, since they would lose their sanctity if revealed before the common folk. In other words, the true identity of the ritual storehouse's sacredness was fear. That was the true emotion ruling over this village. Of course. Let's bear in mind that Shion is saying all this as someone who was exiled to a Catholic boarding school、um, because her family didn't want her around. So. <coughs> so.、Uh, She's sort of a pessimist as far as religion is concerned. Not to paint the Oyashiro sama cult as, you know, some happy, benevolent community in Hinamizawa or anything, but I kind of feel like some of her sentiments、um, are being tinged with that sort of bias. Because、um, she already said when she was escaping the school that she's much more interested in how. Religion can be manipulated to control people.、Um, did I read that last line? I think I did.、Um, okay. The reason why Takano san and Tomitake san were cursed is because they broke into the ritual storehouse. I don't know how the villagers found out about it. Maybe somebody was watching. Maybe there is an anti theft alarm. Either way, our intrusion must have been reported to the highest level of the curse system. That's because, considering the distance between the village and the site where Takano san's body was found, she must have been killed right after we came out of the ritual storehouse. <coughs> well, there isn't much to. The curse system. 
Well, of course, Shion doesn't know this. We found it in Himatsubishem that that um, all um, all that has to be done is for um, Sonozaki Yorio to um, just make some vague statement as a suggestion or just like voicing her opinion about something and then people will carry it out without her direct involvement. So um, her system is maybe a, a little too um, hierarchical uh, bleh, hierarchical um, to describe what that system actually is. Um, uh, That's because considering the distance between the village and the site where Takano-san's body was found, she must have been killed right after we came out of the ritual storehouse. It was done very quickly. It's possible that a special assassination team exists for this purpose, or that the plan had been set up a long time ago. They might have been secret agents of the Sonozaki family, but the latter sounds more valid. <coughs> Excuse me. But if so, who would have been the victim if nobody broke into the ritual storehouse? So although this is an answer arc, it still poses many questions. Um, let's just save for saving's sake. <coughs> Might as well. My relatives gathered at the Sonozaki house after the festival to have a little party. I mingled with my uncles and had fun. I was trying to get rid of my eerie memories of the ritual storehouse. Miu was acting as a successor, so I tried to stay away from her. I'm sure she would feel weird if I talked to her in a formal way. In consideration of the hag's old age, we ended the party around 11 p.m. We all helped to clean up, with the women washing the dishes in the kitchen, and the men folding the tables and putting them away in a storeroom. It only took about 30 minutes. Then everyone left, one after another. By then, Mio was no longer acting as a Sonozaki successor and was back to being her normal self. Maybe I drank too much. I was lying on the tatami floor. <coughs> it's amazing that your Yakuza family will even let you be there at all, let alone drink. Kasai asked me if I could get in the car, so I told him I'd barf if I got in now. Sis, can I spend the night here? I just want to sleep. Granny will get mad if he finds you. By the way, don't you have school tomorrow, Shion? No, tomorrow is our school's anniversary, so there's no class. How many times a year does your school have its anniversary? Oh well. Oh well. Okay, Kasai-san. Shion wa konya wa uchi de azukarimasu. She can stay here tonight. Wakarimashita. Understood. Dewa yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. Good night. Come on, Shion, wake up. Granny will get really mad if you fall asleep here. <laughs> Who cares what the old hag thinks? Here, hold on to me. Oh, no, 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 no,
was left all alone all of a sudden in this late night. My alter ego told me that I'm in a demon's stomach. I wouldn't have woken up if I hadn't heard that voice. I might not have woken up at all. Notebook, page 165. Alright. <coughs> I didn't remember much after that. I was probably brought to Mille's room and immediately crawled into the futon. Oh, uh, I bungled that pronunciation. Futon. After a while, Mille got her futon ready next to me turned the lights off, and went to sleep. At least that's what I thought. I got up and turned the lights on. Mion's futon was empty. The futon felt cold. Mion must have left it a while ago. Did she go to the bathroom? No, the closest bathroom was right there down the hallway. The light in the bathroom was off. Where did she go? The ticking of the clock was loud and annoying in this quiet. The hints pointed to a little before 3 a.m. I was left alone all of a sudden in this late night. <laughs> I just thought of that uh, Matchbox, Matchbox 20 song, 3 a.m. <laughs> and it's funny because what she just said matches. It's 3 a.m. and I must be lonely. Or as he sings it, lonely, ha. Huh? <laughs> I felt the eeriness of the ritual storehouse coming back to me, despite drinking it away with alcohol earlier. I tried to sense my surroundings. In this house, there shouldn't be an eerie atmosphere, strange noises, or footsteps. Well, this is a traditional Japanese house. Um, so I would beg to differ. <laughs> I know too much J-horror. I stepped down into the freezing cold hallway to look for Mio. When I did, I immediately noticed light coming from one of the nearby rooms. That room belonged to the hag. The hag went to sleep early and woke up early. She was very strict about her bedtime, so it was strange to see her light on in the middle of the night. I could hear voices too. Those voices belonged to the hag and Mio. I creeped up to the room and listened to their conversation. Since it was the middle of the night, I could hear their words very clearly. But you kn but you know. Those young ones went too far. Mane. You're right. They made Oyashiro-sama er, Oyashiro angry, so I guess they got what they deserved. Neil's voice sounded as cold as the one I'd heard down in the torture room. I held my breath. The police say they are investigating. But are you sure? Tabunne. I guess so. Takano san da ro ne. It's probably Takano san. My heart almost stopped. Oyashiro sama got angry. The police are investigating. It's probably Takano san. And what day was it today? Those words told me that something was happening. My teeth started to chatter. I desperately tried to stop them. I felt like my body was swelling up suddenly. I could no longer hear as well. Calm down. Breathe. Listen more carefully. According to Mio and the hag's conversation, another incident definitely took place. The victims were... Takano-san, Tomitake-san. From what I could tell, both Mio and the hag thought it made sense that whatever it was happened to them. No, 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 no. I needed to think more calmly. Oh, I'm starting to get a headache right here. Ugh. From, from that beeping in the headset. Ugh. Like, 
I don't know if you have headphones in loose, um, but like if you have headphones in like that really, sh those really shrill tones, it, the binaural frequency, ugh, it's giving me such a headache right here. Ah, gosh darn it. They did say they deserved it for making Oyashiro-sama angry. Did they say Takano-san and Tomitaki-san made Oyashiro-sama angry? Ah, giving me a headache. How did it make Oyashiro-sama angry? I have to turn it down until this movie is done. They knew. My body started to shake. They knew we snuck into the ritual storehouse. Then what that mean? Keiichi and I were also subject to Oyashiro-sama's curse. Suddenly, a phone rang. The phone was by the front door. The front door was opposite the Heg's room, farther down the hall. The ringing echoed throughout the long hallway. It sounded so eerie, almost like it was coming from hell. That was when I felt someone behind me. Of course, there was nobody there when I turned around. But there was someone there a moment ago. I didn't know if it was Satsuko. I didn't sense any emotions, so I couldn't tell. I also didn't know how long it had been there. It was as if that somebody watching me listen in on their conversation. That was the feeling I got. It couldn't be Satsuko. Satsuko would never be that intimidating or scary. My mind turned all red, like it was suffused with blood. Mija ni wa nai? Um, let me find my Elena voice. Have you ex- <laughs> Have you experienced anything like that? Hita hita to. Those footsteps always followed me. Zutto ashi oto ga tsuite kite. They even came to my bedside. Yoru wa makuramoto ni made tatarete. Ni ouro sareru keke. I remember what you and I had said on that rainy day. So naraba Mija wa daijoubu. You'll be okay if that's true. Oyashiro sama ni wa okorare nai. Oyashiro sama will get mad at you. If Oyashiro sama wasn't angry, nobody would follow me. So what did this mean? Ever since we snuck into the shrine storage, Something has been following me? What is it? Calm down, calm down. That's right. Elena wasn't talking about me. She was talking about Satoshi-kun. That's what happened to Satoshi-kun. Satoshi-kun ga taiken shiteiru koto wa subete Oyashiro-sama no tatari no maebure na no. Everything he's going through is a sign of Oyashiro-sama's curse. That's right. That's why I encountered the curse of Oyashiro-sama. Dareka ga toku kara jitto ukagatte iru. You feel someone is watching you from a distance. Dareka ga zutto tsukete kuru. And it follows you. The creepy feeling crawled up and spread across my back. Dareka ga itsumo jibun no sugu ushiro kara mitte iru. And it watches from right behind you. Yagate ashi oto wa after that, you start hearing an extra footstep. I swallowed loudly. Sure. It's almost as though you did get it in. I was predicting what was happen. What would happen to me? Had I not been talking about such a chicken back then, or had she actually been talking about me? やがて
you by now, there was no mistake. No matter how I looked at it, she'd been talking about me. Yes, me. It had been about me. The curse of Oyashiro-sama. What is the curse of Oyashiro-sama? That was when I actually felt something for real. Someone grabbed my collar. <gasps> ah! <gasps> no voice came out. I wanted to scream, but all I could do was to open and close my mouth, as if someone were, something were stuck in my throat. <gasps> it was Mio. She looked even colder than how she looked in the underground torture room. It only made sense that she'd come out into the hallway to answer the phone. I tried to come up with an excuse. However, the way Mio looked at me was so cold. Even if I really had run into her by accident, I could tell by the look in her eyes that she wouldn't believe me. I felt cold sweat all over my body. I couldn't even move my fingers. Sorry. I apologize. I could have said something to get myself out of the situation, but the apology came up first. But Mio didn't appear to hear me. She walked to the front door, still holding my collar. The phone was still ringing. A normal person doesn't usually let a phone ring so long at this time of night. The phone call itself didn't seem real to me. Mion picked up the phone. Mion this. This is Mion. Hmm. Hmm. So this ka. I see. Wakarimashita. I understand. So chira no tayo wa yoroshiko negaishimas. Please take care of things at your end. So rekara. Isai no kuchi fuji o yoroshiko negaishimas. Also, please make sure that nobody talks about this. Eh. Yes. Deva. Goodbye. Mion put Mion put down the phone after a short conversation. What did she mean? Make sure nobody talks about this. Who called any way? Mion put her forehead to mine and spoke to me. Kiteta. Did you hear? conversation was she asking me about? Well, she had to be talking about the woman with the hag. If I said yes, what would happen to me? She... I... don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Mio pulled my collar, pressed her nose on mine, and continued to speak. Just what you heard. Tomitake san to Takano san ga Oyashiro sama no tatari ni awaremashita. The curse of Oyashiro sama fell upon Tomitake san and Takano san. Honto ni okinodoku na koto desu. It's really very unfortunate. It's like I was talking to myself in a mirror. But what I was saying in the mirror was ever so cold. Oh, ne. Oyashiro sama no tatari te. Nan desu. Sis. What is the curse of Oyashiro sama? Tomitake san wa mizukara no te de nodo o kakimushitte o nakunari ni Tomitake san killed himself by clawing out. Uh, by clawing out his throat. Takano san wa. Takano-san was burnt to death in an oil drum. Terrible, isn't it? Tomitake-san clawed out his own throat until he died? What? Takano-san was burnt to death in an oil drum? What? What? Something furry crawled up my spine. I also felt my stomach was turning upside down. I didn't feel any strength in my legs. If me and let go of my collar, I'd probably collapse on the spot. Why? Why did you do that? 
Why did they die that way? わかりませんかシオン。Don't you know, シオン。I'm asking you because I don't know. わか、わかんないよ。<笑> I don't know. <laughs> 理由なんて一つしかないじゃないですか。Don't you see there can only be one reason? Please don't talk as if I already know the answer. なんの理由かな My heart was pounding. I felt that my next breath would be so bloody and hot that I'd choke on it. そんなこともわかんないのですか Don't you know? It's because they made Oyashiro sama angry. The first year it was the manager of the dam construction site. The second year it was the traitors to the village. The third year it was the pacifist. The fourth year it was the relatives of the traitors. I'd always thought the victims were people who had something to do with the dam conflict. Since I didn't do anything against the village during the dam conflict, I assumed I was safe. I should have known. I should have known everything would be the curse of Oyashiro sama. I knew Oyashiro sama's anger was the curse of Oyashiro sama. I knew Oyashiro sama would get angry if I snuck into the ritual storehouse. But since I wasn't held responsible in any way for the dam conflict, I never thought I would be a victim of the curse. Did I ever think that there would be an incident in the fifth year? Did I ever think that I'd be the victim of that fifth year incident? So I took a s u d d e n stuck into the storehouse and he clawed at his own throat until he died? Takano's son was burnt to death in an oil drum. It must be a lie. It couldn't be true. Even if it was forbidden, it was just a space for storing some old torture implements. How could they be killed for just sneaking in there? Especially in such gruesome ways. But I thought about it again and realized that those people were absolutely capable of doing things like that. The Pink Sonazaki family was capable of it. The Sonazaki family had been pulling the strings behind the scenes of mysterious deaths. They could do it. The Sonazaki family even kidnapped the grandson of the Minister of Construction during the dam conflict. They could do it. The Sonazaki family made s a t o s h i k u n disappear completely. They could do it. Well, I keep wanting to burp, even though I cannot physiologically burp. I don't lean against me. The door fell onto the cold hallway floor. Yep,、oh, hallway? I mixed up hallway and hardwood. <laughs> Mil leaned against me before falling onto the cold hallway floor. She collapsed rather violently. I usually didn't go to sleep with my stun gun. But since I was too drunk to get ready for bed, I still had it on me. I had my stun gun on me. I finally understood. I didn't know who killed them exactly. Whose idea it was or who ordered it. I didn't even know who was actually involved. But Mil and the hag knew everything. Such a s c u r e Now I finally know. Now I know what I need to do. I will settle this score for you, Satoshiku. I will avenge you, Satoshiku. I won't be killed like you, Satoshiku. Alright. I think I'm gonna save it here. <coughs> um. I think. This is a good place to leave off for tonight.、Um, uh, thanks so much for watching.、Um, uh, yeah, I, I am sure, in fact. What are you going to do about it? Okay, so、um, if you want to stay notified as to when we go live and you want to keep in contact in the meantime, join that Discord. The link's right there.、Um, so.、Um, Our schedule is Monday and Thursday nights, Higurashi.、Um, Tuesday nights, including tomorrow, we're doing Spyro Reignited Trilogy still.、Um, we're just about done with Spyro 1.、Um, so stay tuned for both those things.、Um, but yeah.、Um
Thank you so much for watching, everyone. As always, if you like what you see, please feel free to click like, comment, follow through on Twitch, subscribe to YouTube, join this that Discord. Any feedback you may know will help me turn my future content towards your interests. I'm Regulus Pastor, and until next time, wale.